In this lesson, we're going to look at the double shuffled bow pattern. Now, if you've uh, ever heard the tune Orange Blossom Special or Back Up and Push, you're already familiar with this, even if you don't know it by name yet. This is that kind of uh, fancy bow technique that you hear in the middle section of Orange Blossom Special and in the B section of, of uh, Back Up and Push. It gets kind of gets the crowd going. So this is usually accompanied by applause. So if you're a fiddle player and you're performing in front of people, this is something you want to have in your repertoire. Uh, regardless of how you feel about it. Sometimes this is called hokum bowing too, um, and uh, it's thought of a little bit disparagingly, but it's, it, it's actually, you know, can be a useful technique, um, even if you don't play Orange Blossom Special, also known as the Fiddler's Curse, or uh, Back Up and Push. Um, so in this, in this uh, video, we're just going to be looking at the bowing for the double shuffle uh, bow pattern. And in the, the written uh, lesson notes that come with this, uh, there are also some double stop voicings that you can use with the double shuffle bow pattern, um, including in the tune uh, Orange Blossom Special. But it's not a, a lesson on Orange Blossom Special per se. But um, again, this is a good sort of useful intro to, um, useful I hope, intro to, to the double shuffle bow pattern. Um, and you can make this your starting point into learning Orange Blossom Special or Back Up and Push, um, if you so choose. Hope you find this lesson useful. Um, again, if you, uh, if you want the lesson notes, you can click on the subscribe link just to subscribe to my email newsletter. I'll send that stuff out to you for free. And I'm also including some um, practice tracks that you can uh, practice uh, the double shuffle bow pattern too. Now this is really, really important. Whether you choose to practice to the tracks that come with this lesson or not, you should practice to something like a metronome or any, any steady beat to make sure that your, um, your timing is, uh, is accurate. That's uh, one of the, the pitfalls of, of the double shuffle bow is that it's very, very easy to fall off the beat while doing this. So um, again, hope you enjoy the lesson. Uh, you can find me at Eric on Fiddle. That's E-R-I-C on Fiddle.com or right here on YouTube. Uh, enjoy. Thanks. So there are two different patterns that, that are commonly used in double shuffle bowing. One I call the two to two pattern and the other one is the two to one pattern. In the two to two pattern, which is the one we're gonna start with, we have two low notes followed by two high notes. We're gonna start the pattern on a down bow and just repeat the pattern over and over again. So two, two, two low, two high. Kind of mid bow. We don't want to get too too close to the tip or too close to the frog when we're doing this. We want to stay comfortably in the middle of the bow because that's kind of the most relaxed part of the bow. And we're just going to keep that pattern going. And we're just doing open strings in this case, just playing open strings. So let's do that together. I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. So let's do that again. Again, staying mid-bow. <clears throat> and when you cross over to the other string, and this will become especially important once we start to do this with quadruple stops, which we'll be doing in a minute. We want to do that string crossing mainly with the wrist. Notice how when I do this, I don't move my arm a lot. I'm doing this mainly with my wrist. That takes some getting used to, but um, I would recommend when you first start doing this, try practicing in front of a mirror and see if you can really make that transition between strings happen from the wrist. So let's do this again. I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Well, 
One more time. One, two, three, four. Now let's add quadruple stops. So rather than doing uh, two, uh, playing two D notes followed by two open A notes, we're going to be doing two, uh, sorry, a double stop, G and D, on the, for the low notes, and a double stop, D and E A, for the high notes. So we'll go G, D, then D, A. G, D, D, A back and forth. And again, try to do as much of the string crossing with your wrist as you can. So let's do this together a little slower than that. One, two, three, four. One more time together. One, two, three, four. Okay, the other main type of double shuffle bowing is what I call the two to one pattern. In this pattern, we're going to be uh, uh, playing two low notes, followed by one high note, and repeating that pattern. So. so because we're playing a three note pattern over a four beat measure, we're going to have a little bit of change left over when we get done playing this through a few times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the high notes so you can kind of keep track of where we are in the pattern. Because at the, at the, at the end of the pattern, we're going to need to do one low note before we start the whole thing over again. Sort of kind of rounding up at the end of the pattern. So uh, I'll play through so you can kind of hear this and count the high notes. One. to start the whole thing over again and with both of these patterns it's absolutely critical that we start the pattern on a down bow so one two three four five and i'll let you hear that again and then we'll practice it together Should be ending that pattern on an up bow, ready to start it again, the pattern again on the down bow. So let's do this together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and. Let's do that pattern again, and then we'll practice playing it continuously. One, two, three, four. Notice I didn't count that time. See if you can keep track. Count in your head those high notes as we move through it, uh, through the pattern, um, just to help you keep track of where you are in it. So here we are again. I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four.
And again, just as we did with the uh, two to two pattern, try to make that string crossing happen with just a movement of the wrist, mm -hmm. not a movement of the arm. Because that'll uh, let you, uh, it'll allow you to play much faster for one, but it'll also kind of make everything sound a bit smoother and less labored. So one more time, one, two, three, four. So one more thing we're going to practice before uh, we talk a little bit about double stop voicings that we're going to use that are typically used uh, with the double shuffle in tunes like Orange Blossom Special and Back Up and Push is switching back and forth between the 2 to 2 pattern and the 2 to 1 pattern. This is something that we do a lot of in a tune like Orange Blossom Special. So let's practice doing 2 to 2 and then I'm going to say switch and let's do 2 to 1. So again I'll count us through. Count us into it. One, two, three, two to two. Now we're gonna switch. Now we're gonna switch. Switch. Let's try that again. One, two, and we're gonna start with the two to two, take two. Let's try that again. Again, starting with the two to two pattern and switching to the two to one and back and back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, two to two. Sorry, take two. Let's do that again. Let's practice switching from the two to two pattern to the two to one pattern and back. One, two, three, four, two to two. Practice that one more time, switching from the two to two pattern to the two to one pattern. One, two, three, four.
the lesson notes, I'll be giving you some common double stop voicings. Let's just call these chords because that's basically how they function. With this double sh stop, this double shuffle uh, style of playing, we're basically playing chords. So rather than doing the, the open strings, we would, for instance, play the notes that are in a, an A chord. So we're gonna bar the first finger position of the G and the D chord, D strings, I should say, and the high two on the A string. <laughs> So let's do, uh, for instance, a two to two pattern with that chord. Now let's switch. So that's, you get the idea. And in, in, in uh, Orange Boston Special, we switch back and forth between those two patterns and, um, and we run through the chords of that tune. It's a simple, uh, that section of the tune where we do the double shuffle at least, is a simple one, four, five chord progression. The same chord progression you hear in blues and in most country songs um, in the key of A. So, so our chords are A, D, E, and then back to A, but we're playing it higher. So in the uh, back of the, the lesson notes that come with this in the back of tracks, I'm going to uh, include uh, some practice tracks that are just uh, of a band playing uh, over that one chord, so, say the A chord, for a good long time. So you can sort of practice switching back and forth between the two to two pattern and the two to one pattern without thinking about your left hand too much. So we'll just hang out. <laughs> Um, and then we'll move on to the D chord in another practice track. Switching. And so forth. Uh, and then we've got the E chord, which is the same fingering as the A chord, just moved over to, to the D, A, and E strings instead. And then, back to the A chord, but this one higher. Now these chords work for, for obviously for more than uh, uh, Orange Blossom Special. You can use these for in, in other, other settings as well. So, but, um, and there's actually more going on in that double shuffle, double shuffle section of Orange Blossom Special than just plain chords. And that's a topic for another lesson. Um, but I would say if you're new to this double shuffle technique, which I seem to be having a difficult time pronouncing today, uh, I would start with just open strings. Two to two, two to one. Practice it with a metronome. I can't stress this enough. It's really easy to sort of lose your timing <clears throat> when you're playing this. And uh, that two to one pattern can really throw off your accompanist because it's very syncopated. The, 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 the beat that you're emphasizing keeps shifting because you're playing three on four. Um, so you need to be as steady as possible with that so you don't derail the train, so to speak. So um, practice the, the open strings with a metronome until you're really solid and then gradually start slow and then gradually increase your tempo. So that's all I've got for today. Again, lots more in the lesson notes, uh, practice tracks to practice some of these patterns along with, as well as some common double stop voicings uh, or chords, let's call them, that we use with the double shuffle or hokum bowing pattern. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and got a little something from it. Uh, have a good day. Thank you.